Hey, welcome back to Stray Cast Outdoor Cartoon Television, the glorified version of a bass fishing talk show. I am still not Pat Renwick. I am Ryan Whitaker. I'll be your host for tonight. Uh, joining me again, the triumphant return, second time back on the port side of the ship, I think. Port side? Start. Yeah, uh, port you, side. You should know that, bro. Yeah, that's the port side. JP, hey. JP, hi. Sorry. The hip hop fisherman, say hi, JP. Hi. <laughs> How's what, it going? What's up, Bass Galaxy? Good to be yeah, here. Yeah. Are you excited for the classic? I am. I am. How um, do you uh how do you prepare for a classic that you're watching at home? You know, it used to be a bigger deal when I used to go into an office. <laughs> when I had the office job, I would be like, How am I gonna watch the classic? And those were the most productive work. And weeks, you couldn't right? even watch it like back then. It was you watched a blog basically or bass track. Right. Right. Uh, now that I'm a bum and don't do anything, I, dude, I'm just firing it up live and you just, I might crack a beer at 7 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> I am excited. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's the classic, bro. It's the best time of the year. Yeah. Uh, producing this show, Andrew Ellenberger, the Ginger Ninja, hold your applause. Okay. Now I'll applaud. Oh, all right. <laughs> we tried it. What's up, Andy? How you doing, bud? I'm good. I'm good. good. Um, how do you prepare for a classic? What JP said in the first round. <laughs> Beer at 7 a.m. Okay. Beer at 7, watch all day. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, as always, uh, on Stray, Stray Cast is the place to win free stuff every Wednesday. Uh, all you have to do is like and share the live Facebook feed, and that will put you into a randomizer. Take it off privates. Do not privatize your sharing. Share it publicly, and you'll be in a randomizer, and you'll have a chance to win some awesome prizes. Today, we're giving away a 10-cup whiskey fun pack. Yeah. Yeah. As always, a great prize. And also this week, we haven't done this in a while, a Sims Challenger hoodie. Courtesy of Sims. Ooh, nice stuff. Check that out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, We'll measure you. We'll come out and measure you. Well, we won't, but somebody will. But yeah, just like and share the live Facebook feed and a chance to win. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. Just do it. Uh, if you want to cut things, there's a knife out there that's extremely sharp that uh, I'm a little scared of, actually. It's very sharp. But White River Knives, uh, they've got anything from hunting, food prep, survival, custom knives. Check out whiteriverknives.com. Uh, the things are incredibly awesome. I've been filleting cohos and perch lately, and it's uh, it's pretty gnarly. They're awesome looking knives too. Great, you know, come in a wooden box, makes it special. Um, Omnia Fishing. Omnia Fishing is giving away forty nine dollars credit when you start a pro membership now. So sign up for the pro membership. You're going to get forty nine dollars in your in your account to buy some awesome tackle. Check out Premium Pro as well. They've got awesome lake maps, a whole bunch of other benefits. Just check it out, omniafishing.com. JP, what do you know about lithium batteries? Uh, what do I use to power my day? Uh, lithium batteries. Impulse lithium batteries. And let me tell you about this tournament rewards con contingency. Can't say that word. That's right. They got a program. You fishing the derb? Yeah. You got in impulse lithium batteries? 500 extra bucks like i think they give you one of those happy gilmore checks one of yeah. the big the big ones um uh, so yeah check that out impulse lithium.com get your batteries there awesome awesome um yeah just any qualified tournament any win 500 bucks check it out impulse lithium.com uh we got the whiskey gypsy on board yeah who's coming on tonight though is he coming oh yeah yeah <laughs> Let's tell the people. And where are they at? <laughs> yeah, tonight it's going to be awesome. So um, Pat is uh, out doing his work for Bassmaster. So obviously he's down at the BMC, the Bassmaster Classic. And uh, he is hanging with no other than Seth Fighter and Josh Douglas. And they're in an undisclosed location somewhere in Oklahoma near the Bassmaster Classic. But we're going to be checking in with them and just talking Bassmaster Classic. Should be awesome. Um, let's get the gypsy. 
There he is. What's going on? What's up, Luke? Hey, how you guys doing? Doing good, man. Where are you? You look like you're out. I'm in an Italian restaurant in Mass Ave in Indianapolis. Called the, the, where am I at? <laughs> Messino. What's my plug? Awesome. I go out to a lot of places. I forget where I'm at sometimes, guys. You know what I mean? I got you. I got you. Uh, are you excited for the classic? I am. I am. What uh, I've asked everybody so far, how, how do you prepare to watch a Bassmasters classic? Any rituals? Um, I like to clear out as much of my day as possible and, and, and get started as I can, but as soon as I can, I'm watching it. But uh, I got a lot of the March Madness basketball tournaments in Indy, and we've got people I got to take around, so I don't know how much I'm going to get to watch, but um, I'll be tuning in every chance I get, that's for sure. So. Awesome. Well, Luke, you know this. Uh, as all, Every week we play the Tin Cup Mountain Whiskey drinking game. Yeah. And there's going to be a key word that Luke is going to select. And every time you hear that word, you're going to take a sip. Maybe it's some Tin Cup whiskey, maybe a Coke, maybe a water, maybe whatever. But drink every time you hear this word. Luke, what do you got this week? It can only be classic. Of course. Oh, classic. You know what I mean? We've already said it four or five times, so drink up. Guys. Later. Yeah. Yeah, you better yeah. <laughs> fill up, man. This is the classic show. It is. There you go. I just did it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Got to keep up. Awesome, man. Uh, what else is going on? Not much. I've only been out a couple times. I'm going to try and get out and fish a little bit Saturday and um, – yeah, haven't really busted them, but there's been a few guys around me that have caught them on days I hadn't been able to go. So, um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting out for a little bit Saturday, hopefully. So. Absolutely. Things are heating up in our area. It's getting fun. They sure are. They sure are. Uh, a, little, a little earlier than usual, too. Yeah, no. Sorry, yeah it's my favorite time of year. Free spawn for sure. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Luke, right. Luke yeah. you should come fish this uh, this South Shore Open, South yeah. Shore Bass Open. There's a big tournament on Lake Michigan over here. Hey, you know about this thing? Uh, I think I've seen you guys talk about it on Facebook, but when is it? It is August. August 3rd and 4th. There you go. This year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Huge, huge open tournament. There hasn't been a legitimate tournament uh, on the south end of Lake Michigan since the Bass Matches Classic in 2000. Oh, and really? Try, yeah. I mean, not a not a large payout. Um, full on stage weigh-in. It just hasn't happened down here. So we're, we got one going to the South Shore Visitors Bureau. They're they're stepping up and, and sponsoring the event. Horseshoe Casino is on board. Oh, really? Uh, yep. Big team tournament to be out of Hammond Marina. Uh, two day derby. Okay. Like 450 entry fee. It's okay. Gonna be awesome. I think All right. Well, maybe, maybe I can. I work with the casino with some of my other brands. Maybe there's something I can do with them up there to help make it a better event or oh, donate yeah. more or something like that, maybe. Yeah. Uh, we'd yeah. appreciate that for sure. We just let's, want you to talk about it, that. Man. Well, that too, but I can, you know. I could, yeah. If I can, if I can donate something to give away or something like that, I'd like to see if we can do that too. So. For sure, awesome, Luke. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. No problem. No problem. Well, thanks for checking in. I'll let you get back to your dinner, and All right. uh, we'll uh, we'll talk to you next week or the week after or whatever. But yeah, sounds good. Hopefully, hopefully, classic will be a good show this year. And, yes, you know. classic. That's so. two. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, thanks, All right. Well, you guys have a good night. I'll see you. Good see you. All right, Luke Foley. All right, everybody, put the power poles down. We'll be right back with Pat Renwick, Josh Douglas, and Seth Fighter. There's a moment when you're faced with a challenge, and just solving the problem isn't good enough. Even if that means breaking the rules and shredding apart conventional ways of thinking. All in the name of creating something truly remarkable. With this much control at its command, we didn't stop with just one. We created two incredible trolling motors. 
Introducing the new Power Pole Move brushless trolling motor. This is the mountain, and this is mountain whiskey. Unspoiled, untamed, forever wild. There's no safety net, no way down. Up here, it's just man and the mountain. And his tin cup. Tin cup whiskey. Mountain whiskey. Want to know the difference between power bait and other soft plastics? Ask the fish. Berkeley scientists have thousands of flavors tested on thousands of fish. Natural, man-made, every bait that's ever hit the water. No matter the shape, size, or color, power bait is the only one that is scientifically proven. Fish bite and will not let go. Omnia Premium Pro gives you the confidence to eliminate dead water on thousands of lakes across the U.S. Exclusively on the Omnia app, use 10 unique data layers containing critical real-time mapping information to see water temperature, water clarity, contours, lake bed hardness, and important weather data all in one place. Matched with Omnia's loyalty credit program on all your tackle and gear needs, this is the only app you need in your arsenal for success on the water. That's a pretty good one. Based in Chicago, Illinois, Tightrope Fishing has been designing and producing high quality tackle for over a decade. Creators of the Baby Firework Super Jig, Bike Getter Spinnerbait, and more, Tightrope products are made by actual bass anglers that understand the need for tested and proven baits that catch fish. Tightrope products are available at tightropefishing.com and your favorite online tackle retailers. Welcome back to Stray Cast. Again, uh, if you haven't done it already, like and share the live Facebook feed for a chance to win a 10 cup party pack and a Sims Challenger hoodie. Uh, take it off private again. Ginger, how are we doing? We got to, we got those guys ready? Yeah, you're good to go, bud. All right, all right. Uh, joining us from an undisclosed location somewhere in Oklahoma, somewhere in proximity of the Bassmasters Classic, We've got Seth Fighter, Josh Douglas, and guesting again on his own show, Pat Renwick. Hey! There they are. What's going What's on? Guys? What's happening? Not much. What That's, are you guys doing? There's Josh Douglas. There's Seth Fighter. And also, there's there's another uh, guest here uh, at this undisclosed location, Shutter. Grand Lake of the Cherokees. And it's the one and only Brad Leitner. Give it up for Brad Leitner. Hell yeah. up, Brad? You see, you see Toter over there? Come on over. Yeah, Come on on over. Yeah, slide cool. in. Slide in. Yeah. And Bree's doing camera work over here. Ryan, this is great. We're having a good time. At, uh, oh my God, it looks like there's like there's like Zoom going on. This is like professional. Yes. We're doing uh we're doing high school basketball photos now. How's that? <laughs> Do that one where you're yeah. <laughs> Exactly. 
Yeah. So what what's are you going guys, on over there in Chicago? Has been, oh, what's going on here? There. I mean, you know, the the coho run. The oh, always yeah. coho run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, our first kick Gary Lighting. Yeah. What's that? Art of Perchin. They're always in. They're always in. But when they're really in, it gets you know, it gets everybody all excited. They get their overalls out and fill up their pockets with perch. It's fun. What's going on down there? I see you guys have been out fishing. We we went uh, actually we we went bass fishing today, uh, and uh, we caught them. We caught them on a good old fashioned. Uh, you know, Ryan, you like to call it a jiggity pig. Yeah. I do. Okay. Yeah, Seth Fighter did a little flippity flips, if you know what I mean. And uh, we both caught some good ones on a on, on a little lake somewhere in Oklahoma. That sounds pure. That's got good. a cove called rattlesnake. That's good. It is. Uh, it, are you guys? I mean, are you guys excited to be down there? I know, I know you guys would rather be fishing it, but I mean, is there is, is there excitement in this cabin that you guys are in? Well, this is my first classic. I didn't qualify for. <laughs> but actually i'll be right back go ahead it's not the same no. it's not the same no i'm just here to work no. just here to learn or work what did you say work work yeah just... yeah no i mean it's uh it's the new age of bat. is this the new age of bass fishing it feels like uh it feels it feels a little different this year i don't know why but uh, something feels a little different it is. Am I alone in that? No. I didn't hear what you said, Josh. What was that? I said, wait till next year. I'll start feeling even more different. <laughs> For sure. why, why is that now? Well, just you got here. Uh, it seems like a lot of the rookies right now are doing really, really well in the points race and stuff like that. So you got to imagine that, uh, you know, next year you're going to see even more younger faces and stuff like that in, into the classic. So definitely a changing time in the sport for sure. It's all fishing, you know, for that matter. Right, right. Yeah. It's still fishing though, right? I mean, fishing's still fun. You guys went out there, cracked them on a jig today. Yeah. Nothing different there. Oh. I have one bite. Let's go. This uh -huh. one's a little brush pile. <laughs> he did. It was a big blip too. That's good. I'm having trouble. I'm having a little trouble hearing you guys on the sides. So I don't know if uh, maybe the camera, I don't know. How are you gonna move having a little trouble with audio. They anyway. got to talk up. Yeah, just, just speak up a little bit. Can you, can you slide in? A cutting us off can you hear me? I can hear you. I can always hear you. Yeah. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Go in, Mark, and then turn it all towards me. Pat. Um, yeah. Perfect. What's the oddest answer you've gotten so far when you're asking people what BASS stands for? The oddest answer I've ever gotten when I, oh, you mean when I'm out doing questions for bass? Yes. Oh, gosh. People, um, every, everyone thinks it's bat, it's uh, association. Right. So they always think the second thing is association. So they say but, bass association, then what? Uh. <laughs> I, I, really, it's like it, it's a baffler, Ryan. It's really they don't get it. That's crazy. That's crazy. We need yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bass yeah. Bass Angler Sportsman Society. Bass Angler Sportsman Society. That's that's the one. Um, <laughs> I got shirts. What is this? I got shirts, guys. I got two shirts. I, you guys can fight over them. Yeah, I got uh I got this one too. Oh, okay. Okay. And then this one. So Doug, you gonna hold it up. I got these are from Mad Science Print Lab. I was and no joke wearing both of this morning. Can you see that on the camera? Yeah, I actually slept in mine last night. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Catching and cheating. Catching and cheating. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I like they're they're splitting it within their own company. It's good. <laughs> the kidney western side? He did. He did really? actually. That's really solo. <laughs> Ask Seth who race God is. Yeah, uh, that that is that was gonna be the, the biggest question because we can't assume that professional bass anglers know who Ray Scott is. So who Seth, tell us who Ray Scott is. Never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> <What is that? laughs> Well, See, we all laughed because that's a joke, and that's how absurd it is. But, but uh, 
I would have also accepted a god, a bass and god. Yes, created okay. everything. Absolutely, the founder of tournament bass fishing. Yeah, creator of the whole game, right? Yeah, the the, the man uh, along with the fish that gave us all an opportunity to do cool stuff. That yeah, guy's cool. Yes, he started the bass club. <laughs> he did. Pat, I want to let let's let's fix this. Let's fix the problem. Pat, what would you what would you ask Ray Scott if you had one chance to talk to him right now? Let's if I had, if I had a chance to ask Ray Scott a question, I would ask him how proud he actually is of the way the sport has grown. I mean, it would have to be overwhelming to Ray Scott to realize what it's come from since what was it, 67 or 68, Ryan, yep. until now. That, that is a leap and a bound. Dude. I mean, so I would ask Mr. Scott what he thinks of present-day Bassin, and uh, it'd have to bring a tear to his eye, don't you think? Absolutely. Let's yeah. take this one around the horn. Seth, what, what would you ask Ray Scott? What would I ask him? That's easy. Go ahead. That's easy. Well, take you it. Want to pass <laughs> I'd, ask, I'd ask if I could fish his pond. Dougie, you're smart. You'd ask him if you could fish his pond. Yes, yeah. Dougie nailed it. Dougie, that's and he great. would say only with four pound test. Yeah. What's that? Right. He would probably say only with four pound test. That's what he used to make everybody that's do. No, but he let Zona and Van Dam fish in with twenty pound strain, and G Man and Skeet Reese, he and did, Roland but, and Shaw Grigsby. But a portion of that tournament, they had to fish with four pound. Oh, was the it? Flaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even zoning. I'm making this up. It's real. Yeah. There's no way Van Dam was fishing with four pound line. They had to like catch one on four pound or something like that. There were there was there was a stipulation in the tournament. They had to like catch okay. one on four. Yeah. Line in the last go. Yeah. 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 right in the middle of that pond. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you shake that middle right on their head, Dougie. Yeah. You got your question for him yet, Seth? Oh, sorry. Now I quit thinking about it. <laughs> um, Let's move on to Choder. Choder, you got one? I can see you and Ray Scott the best for sure. He's a man of few places. Yeah, you know, hey, just let him try it on. Yeah. <laughs> Kill a bird in it. <laughs> Turkey's throat and Ray Scott's best. <laughs> That'd be all right. That'd be awesome. There you go. Did he, does he ever fish in those? In the vest? In no, because the they get in the real hands. Yeah. yeah. The vest get in the real hand. As long as you have yeah, fish in the hat. Yeah, he fish. fished in the vest, the hat, and everything. Well, they, they, I'm talking about the fringy cowboy vest. Oh, Ray Scott. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. the tassels get yeah. caught in the, in the left line. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no tassels. Yeah. No tassels. Tasselless vest is for fishing. <laughs> Tassel ones for dinner. Uh, <laughs> You guys want to? You guys want? You guys want to run down uh, ten Bassmaster Classic quick questions I got for you guys? Sure. You guys ready? All right. I want. That. I want. You know. I, I want to go down. I want to go down the whole row, all four of you guys. Okay. With well, these, but but simple questions. Okay. Uh, are we allowed to pass? You could pass. You could okay. pass. But we'll start. We'll start with Seth. I'm passing everything. Seth's favorite classic moment. Uh, oh, probably the Takahiro. Takahiro. Takahiro Frank, winning moment. Great big comeback. Fifteen minute roll. I think it was the most memorable. It Frank really is. Cool. What lake was that? Moment the Bassmaster Classic. Lake Wiley. Yeah, Wiley. Jason Quinn. Jason Quinn, Medicine Man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He knew it. He, he knew, knew it. it. That was it. Yeah, that was that classic. We're he did know it, thing. and he knew it, and he had to go. He had to go. He had to go. I think every go. partner for 10 years said that to each other and attention being fast to each other. <laughs> so I, knew it. I knew it. We knew exactly what they are talking about. Yeah, that was awesome. Pat, favorite classic moment? Man, so I forgive me. I don't know which Clun classic it was. I get them confused. But do you know when he had the, like, Pink Do you remember which lake? If that makes sense. Sorry, say that one more time. Okay, so the con the Clun <laughs> Classic that he won. I'm trying, Ryan. You know all the years. You're big, way back. Yes, I do. That's what I'm saying. One of the three, uh, four. four. 
before mm. uh, um, that he won. And, and he was like, well, I, I noticed his, he had like turquoise or pink pants on or something. I know that sounds stupid. All right. But listen to me. The look in his eye, like Clun was on another planet. Like his, his eyes were glazed over. And it was like it was not even Rick Clun on the stage. You could tell he was, it was kind of like an out of body experience for him. And uh, that was an amazing classic moment. Um, also, I'll never forget if I may throw two in, sure. um, Ike and Nelly, Ike and Nelly just <laughs> packing it up and like, let's go. And the, the run back, uh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. That, that was insane. The never give up. The never give up. Moment. Never give up. And that was exciting. For that. It really was great. Yeah. News. That, was yeah good. That, that blew up on ESPN. It was a big moment. Heck yeah. Crash Douglas. Man. There's been a lot of good ones. Um, I'm going to go with the, the easiest one and a little cliche one. Uh, Gussie's last year. Oh! Just oh he wasn't, he wasn't really the easy one. It was, the, it was the, the apple. Here's the deal, though. It ain't like Northern England have never won. We talked to Ike and Kevin Van Damme won. Sure. Uh, multiple yeah, yanks. Both yanks. Um, but to me, Gussie's like a Minnesota Northern. I mean, he's Canadian as Canadian gets, but he's like in our – Area, Central, somebody that Central we Northern, knew yeah. it was a big deal yeah. when he won a Hawaii, he made the elite. Just somebody when you know them, and all of a sudden it's like, like I've known Jason Christie, but I've always like, you know, that's Jason Christie's out there. I don't know him like I knew, Gussie. like you know, so it was personal to see, to see Gussie do it. Yeah. That was your horse in the race, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I did up there, I felt it. the same it's, way, yeah. It was cool, it was cool, it was a good one to watch, yes, cool. yeah, great. You um, want to answer, Gussie. Fred? I got the same answer, but a different answer. Yeah. My favorite part of the classic was last year, Gussie winning it, but wandering down the streets at two in the morning <laughs> with the Aussies carrying them, chanting. We were wild. Yeah, it was the wildest night I've ever seen in Bass Fishing. That was my favorite. Movie. It was so like any class. Remember in like the Frankenstein movies <laughs> where the townspeople would come with pitchforks and fire and just yeah. walk through the street? That's what we were all like, right? Yeah, it was Shrek too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that Shrek copied off the Frankenstein's. Oh, but uh, <laughs> we don't talk about Bruno. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> the, <laughs> Uh, I feel like the Aussies and the Canadians have a lot in common for whatever reason. When they get together, they can they can boost. I know that. Oh, oh it was a can yeah. uh, it was a match made in heaven. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It I really like was. Some, the some cops, the cops and the homeless people had no idea what was going well, on. Yeah, they all stayed to the side. Yeah, great. they just let us go through. Yeah, like they weren't bugging anyone. It was <laughs> it was nuts. <laughs> Five Canadian days. and some Aussies are, uh -huh. are hanging out after a Bassmaster Classic. It sounds like the beginning of a joke. Um, yeah, what do and, you uh, and a hockey player. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, Buff. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Booth, big Buff. Yeah. buff. <laughs> we, love, we love Buff in Chicago, yeah. too. Beers with uh, Gussie's brother. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Next question. Anybody take this one, Whoever, whoever's got it. Do you oh, think, do you think uh, the secret classic location that we just learned who Ray Scott was, who when Ray Scott did the secret locations, when they took him up in the plane and, and hid it from everybody, do you think that could work today? Oh, it could. I know why it can't work. Why? That's too much. Well, no, it's because, yeah, they you make it a destination these days, so it's like, okay. This is our vacation. We're going to the BMC. We're going to the biggest Super Bowl. We're going to Super Bowl yeah. of Bass. Yeah. Families are planning hard. vacations. People know where the lake is. You're setting up expos. You're, uh, you know, the sponsors. Sponsors. That, yeah. The whole the, the whole town of Tulsa. Everybody in on it. You know what Everybody I mean? Be there. That's the that's the problem. But how awesome would it be for you guys to have a dirt like that during the year? Where you hop in a plane yeah, be cool. yeah. and you go to an undisclosed location. That's so just, a, like, that's just a regular, right a regular season of that. Right. Season I think that could be feasible for all I know, but I'm just a talk show host. I think it'd be awesome. I feel like that's in the beginning what MLF did. That was the well, only the only cool part was yeah, they don't know where they're going. Yep. Like yep. did they not know where they were going? 
I, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah. I'm, I'm not I'm sure the only one. That was you, JP. Everyone else, Nick. What I didn't. Did Bassmaster for a while do some stuff like some top fifties or some some stuff where they would like go? I can remember. I can just remember the episode because Preston Clark didn't fly, so he drove. So they went somewhere and they do like special. Huh. Little when they break down the courses too. It was the ma- it was the major. It was the major. Josh, yeah, that that was oh six and oh seven. They did the first two years of the elites, they did two majors. Maybe. And then they did the whole courses. And I think you're right. They did kind of not tell everyone where they were going. There was one at least those one were secret. secret. Did some, yeah. Yes. And they those were, are nowhere on the internet, by the way. The red crest. The red crest was a secret this year. <laughs> I don't know if you heard. It was a secret because I didn't know what happened. <laughs> yeah, where was uh, it? Don't know. It, when, when is that tournament, anyways? That's coming up next year, 25. Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. Van Dam, Jordan Lee, they're going. I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, I really didn't. I, I forgot it was. Hey, awesome. that's a weigh in and a speakeasy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You had, to have, you had to know the password to get into the dungeon to watch the weigh in. I heard it was the BFL trailer. Yes. <laughs> he was the BFL. That's right. Who is it? We're here for the weigh-in. Come on in. What do you got, JP? Oh, I was just gonna say Jordan Lee's classic win was kind of cool. It was. Um, which one? Well, one, yeah, which one? There's two of them. The one where he broke down and like had yeah. to sit on a point, and he just threw the mop jig. That yes. was cool. Yeah. That was that like came back from like 30th or something, or way he's like 10 pounds out. Or 20. What do you get? Top 25 gets in. I, I feel yeah. like I'll. That I'll, was actually. I'll, it was actually. It set a record. That was the largest final day comeback. He came back. Uh, thir- he was down 13 pounds, 14 ounces. He came back. That's the biggest comeback in Bassmaster or in classic history. Just yeah. to me, um, to me as a fan, I that one was cool to me. With a broken uh, boat. Yeah, good that, stuff. Yeah. All right. A little interesting fact. Bree was the James Overstreet put Bree on him when he started making a comeback. They'd flown Bass Blue Bree down to be a... And then really? Bree, Bree was on Jordan when he won it. The camera guy. That's, that's awesome. That's cool. yeah. So I should have thrown that in there for the wife. Maybe that was a good. Well, you just did. Yeah, there you there go. You go. Yeah, you go. See, never too late. Good thing they come back. Right? <laughs> All right, late. next, next classic question: Who's the best classic champion? Who, who that won the classic has represented bass in the best way, coolest way, whatever? By your opinion, who do you think is the best classic champion ever? Oh, good question. Boy, Doug, it's pretty clear. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> I think, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Uh, I mean, easy answer would be Kevin Van Dam. I mean, he's not a Tiger Woods the sport. He's a cook. Yeah, he's a, he's a, they, he that, he so was, damn dominant for a while. In the mold of a bass fisherman, right. you know. Van Dam. Is bass fishing. Is Van that, Dam. Is that the consensus across the board, Van Dam? I'm sure Ike did a good job. Well, Ike, Ike did a great did a job. job. Ike did a good job, yeah. I don't think anyone tops Kevin in doing more for the sport. Uh, that's what I'm, that's what I'm going with. I, I, you won it. Like, Tiger Woods asked there for a while, like just completely dominated. And, and, and I, and I got to say with what what we saw, long. like what Choder was saying too, Gussie was an amazing Bassmaster Classic champion. for Yes, 20, he is 20. still. Yeah, I mean – Carrying it up to this point, just representing um, the world of bass fishing, quite frankly. Yeah, right. But, yeah. Shout out those uh, bass conservation uh, commercial with Gussie. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. Those are great. Yeah. Nicest classic champion. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Nicest classic. The nicest. With classic. Kevin, uh, with Kevin too, he was at all of the. I remember looking at like, uh, you know, looking at. Uh, Outdoor shows, the years following his classic wins, he was at all, he did all the seminars, like did them all, all the biggest one, all the biggest cities was at all of them. They're, you know, representing Bassmaster and, and yeah, awesome. And they were, they were important times too. Let's think about that because that was be, kind of before the spawn of the big social media push. And we were, you know, that was important for, for us as Bass Angler sports shows and, of course, print magazines and yeah. anything we can get our hands on. I know you guys in your early days of bass and you just were, were all sponges for that kind of stuff too. So Van Dam quite a 
Yeah, quite a silhouette of Bassett. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No man. His, All right. his retirement speech and the trophies behind him just made everybody. <laughs> That's when he was Van Dam. Everybody was cutting onions that night. Yeah. Um, That's when he was Van Dam and not Van Darn, right? I, I wasn't yeah. crying about it. <laughs> dream, what's what's a what's a dream classic location like somewhere they've never been that you think a classic should be held at? Oh, I got a good one. Watch Go for it. Like weigh-ins in Knoxville. Mm -hmm. I mean, not Knoxville. Weigh-in. They already Nashville. went to Knoxville. Nashville. Sorry. Wait, Kentucky Lake weigh-in in Nashville. Yes. How far is Nashville? How far is Nashville? Three hours. Closer than here. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, it's only an hour to Nashville. Oh, I was in really? twenty minutes from Mass, and that's Ooh. there. From really, there. from Paris? Yeah, from Paris is probably yeah. closer. Not huh, true, yeah. I mean, think of the party in Nashville. Like, that would be That's true. You're just thinking of party, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> like, it'd be a good life. Old Hickory's right, right there in Nashville. Well, I mean, that's what the classic's about for everybody that's not fishing. Old is it? Yeah. yeah. Matt Schroeder, he ain't been to sleep. That's uh, been bad. Two hours or three hours of sleep. I never went to one in New Orleans, but I'm sure that's a fun classic. The to problem to, with too. that is Nashville does not need the money. So I'm right. not going to. Yeah, yeah, they're not they're not they're not to the point where they're gonna need a bass tournament to come to save their city. Money. But Kentucky Lake, are we gonna see bass? Yeah. I mean right now twenty three to twenty five pounds. Could we have a summer classic again? Is that, that, a, is awesome. that such a yeah. thing? What's is the that a thing? Happen, what, what's the reasoning for like, that? The time of the year. Because like Cayuga would be an awesome. Yeah, but wouldn't it be more conducive to vacationing families? Seth, you said, yeah, you said time of year. What do you mean by that? Like, no, because uh, up north, it's everybody. a big kick. Uh, there's a lot of uh, fishing sales that revolve around Bassmaster Classic. Oh, a lot of new releases. Spring, everyone's yeah. all amped up to go fishing. Very true. Uh, and a good part of the country froze up, so they're gonna. They're yeah, just, I mean, it's a great part of the year to sell tackle. Okay. What's the yeah. worst? Uh, what's the most forgettable classic in history? Oh, jeez. I don't know the one here. What was that tournament where that guy won it flipping the mat at the end and didn't know he had a fish on? Yeah. The boy dug it. Yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah. That that was, one. Uh, yeah. Was that the bees he held the rod funny when he re re wound in the rattle yeah. trap. That was that 2007 on Gunnersville. Yeah. What? Or or no, 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 sorry. Lay Lake. Lay Lake. Lay Lake. Yeah. Was it Lay? I think so. It was Lay Lake, yeah. Well, isn't that the one where Kevin won in Beeswax Creek? So those are, those are separate classes. It wasn't. That was that was 2005. That was, No, sorry, not five. Uh, that was a sweet one, too. Which That was 10. With Jeff that, was, that was 2010, Lay Lake. The one you're thinking, Beeswax Creek. circle right back to Lay Lake. Where Jeff Creek. Crete went like head to head with KVD. Yeah, Crete was That's in the hunt of that one too. It was a good one. Yeah. That was the origin of the squirrel. But that's the most forgettable one, the the Lay Lake. No, that one. Duck it awesome. win. I think so. Yeah. 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 Really? I loved that final bite because he didn't know he had a bite. It was it was funny. It was, it was like, embarrassing to watch <laughs> him. <laughs> It'd be a bass fisherman. <laughs> I watched him and I'm like, this guy sucks at fishing. Wow. And he won the Bassmaster Classic. And then everybody sees it because it's the Bass Master Classic. And it was just like embarrassing to be a bass fisherman. What? What? Watching him. <laughs> <and everybody. laughs> He's like, I got a nibble. How do we and then he leaned. He doesn't even know how to hold a rod in real. What about, but what about, I think you guys are forgetting 2006. Just, I, think, I think you're forgetting 2006 where, where the guy that won it never fished Bassmaster again. And then also his camera oh. guy fell out of the boat on the final day and they had no footage of the final day of the winner. Well, tell, tell them, you're, tell them what you think about that. Doctor. What was that? Well, that was Luke. It was in Florida. Awesome to win on Toho. It was Kissimmee Oh well, yeah, but I remember good stuff from that. Yeah, that was yeah, a good dirt. I had Ricky Collins caught like a seven, eight eight pounder. Yeah. Yeah. a nine pounder. Uh, I, like, I like remember good stuff from that. Like the only thing I remember from the Boy Duckett classic is watching him like hold his rod like Orlando Wilson. Yeah, that was what I, <laughs> that the part that really bothered me 
is like how he was winding that plug and then holding right. the rod all wonky. You should see him with a spoonful. For real. Uh, no, but that I like that classic, the Florida classic. Yeah, I, did I liked it. And Clausen was kind of hot. I just didn't like the last day because they had no coverage. Yep. Yeah. That's why he had to kind of shoot back. He was in a tough spot. He made the wrong decision. Yeah, I, I but, think, but FLW is kind of hot. He fished hot faster. Was, was he hot fished hot fast tournaments again he after that two years later. Yeah. Did he? Two years, yeah. Okay. Uh, what about the what about grinder ones like the Pittsburgh? I like the Pittsburgh. I like Pittsburgh was good. Cool. There's a lot of memorable stuff. I don't mind that. With class. Aaron and Kevin and the Hooters girls. Yeah, that that one that was one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hooters that girls. Is. No, the Hooters girls were following Aaron oh. by the bridge. Remember? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Is, that's is the that one, the one where, where it, ball, yeah. breaks off the water. Mm-hmm. Like, that was probably the most heartbreaking. Yeah, that would that would have been the most heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, that the was, one where Aaron was talking to the cat on the bank? Was he talking to the cat in that tournament? That wasn't that one. That was later on. Yeah. Was, that's an awesome it, tournament. Just it might have been here. I think that's when he was. Blue. He was like meow. It was. He was meowing. Oh, it. trapping the speed trap. Speed trap and a grand. It was a. It was on grand. That was the same one because there was a lot of animal interaction. That was the one that Ike was yelling <laughs> at the dog in too. <laughs> That Ike was talking to the dog. Yeah. 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 And he had to apologize <laughs> to him the next day. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of credit. It's the animal classic. I really like it. Get right in your face. Yeah. They're right there. <laughs> give me a, somebody give me a good first classic memory. Your first memory of seeing a Bassmaster classic. Ooh. On TV or whatever. Gosh, dang. I mean, I started really paying attention. We were talking about it earlier around that Luke Clawson tournament. That when was Tops? Was that have been the year before that? Oh four. Oh four. four. Two years before. That was like the first big Why? classic that I really started to like watch on TV. Why did Ike and Ellie win that? Oh, three. Okay. That's kind of the first. Yeah, time. right in there. Getting in it definitely before that. I can remember. Chicago it. was two thousand, right? Yep, Chicago was two thousand. When was Pittsburgh? That was later. Oh yeah, that was like was 06. Like Pittsburgh 05. 05. There you go. Well, yeah, they kind of had one almost back to back when they switched from the fall. Well, what was Davy Height? Was that 99? 99. Yeah. 99. Yeah. I remember that one. What was before that? 98. You had Danny. 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 You know that. Yeah. Dion Hip in 97. What was 97? Dion. Yeah, see, okay, not, yeah, it would have been, you were about twice. Probably the Danny Brower, High Rock 98 class. It could be the first one I remember. Cool. Nice. I and you were, what, five or something? How old? Seriously, about 98. What were you? Mm-hmm. 12, probably. I don't know. 10? 15. Oh, it's five. 14. 14. Oh, okay. Oh. I said five. <laughs> <laughs> he'd, be a, he'd be a lot better glass. Yeah. Show. Yeah. <laughs> That, ex- that, that explains the jig, the jig fishing obsession. For sure. uh, I grew up on the Daddy Brower promo. Every every article of clothing that Fighter owns that year was um was uh, black and amber, <laughs> black brown well, and all amber. My clo- all my clothing was from Marlboro. <laughs> <laughs> Marlboro points miles oh, yeah, from Pedro. Seven miles, and I got all these pictures when I'm like twelve. <laughs> fishing in a Marlboro fleece. Quarter zip pullover, <laughs> bright red, big Marlboro patch on the chest. Did you have like Zuba hands too? Was that like the era of Zuba? Yeah, I'm really into Zuba. Oh. Well, I'm really into Zuba. Just scoffing, just scoffing. <laughs> 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 Marlboro t shirts and sweatshirts. That's awesome. In a Marlboro tent. Uh, <laughs> a duffel bag. And a little Marlboro Coleman yeah. flip over grill. Uh, do they not do swag like that no more? I know because I don't know. Game, so. Some law. Some what's the uh, what's the most what what bait has, what's the most the iconic bag. winning <laughs> most iconic winning bait in a classic? Like what bait when it was one on it you just couldn't get for for a month? Oh, couldn't get it? That would be yeah, that. which one which one was the biggest deal? Like when somebody won the tournament on that classic. The so what classic was it for real that the laser lure advertisement was out with <laughs> Ike and Ellie and uh, Duckett? And they both... Uh, well, there was them too, wasn't they? They both 
advertised the laser lure and it was the principal like you know how jp you make your cat go crazy with the laser pointer you remember yeah. that bit? Um, so yeah. th there's a laser lure hanging up above andy's uh producer booth actually there in the studio oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but the uh is that the limits yes yeah, no, no it, this it's is laser it's laser lure yeah. and i'm gonna tell you man when they they were playing those on the bassmaster classic that commercial and you could not they were like sold out immediately. Like everybody bought them dang laser lures. Well, of course. I mean, it was insane, but nobody won on it. But it wasn't won on it. Yeah. It's talking about advertising. It's a lot different now, though. Like, whoever wins the classic, whatever lure they have, you can go on the internet now and buy everything. Where not too long ago, you had to go to a taco shop and go look for them. It was really hard to get. You can buy everything. Six at demons I'm, I'm after Randy Curry. Howells. Though, yeah. Yes. Wait, yeah, that really was. He, he won that on the Livingston, actually. What? Yeah. Like, like JP just said, you can you can just go to omniafishing.com and buy everything now. Yes, get them all. Yeah. Clear them out. Make sure you do the pro pack. Right, and then yeah. Forty nine bucks back right now. It's free. But seriously, yeah. what's a? I mean, you guys, you guys got to have an answer, like a real answer. Like, what what bait won that you? I mean, there's one in my head, like one that you just you couldn't get it after that classic. You could not I find one. I, I oh, I know what it is. I uh, can you pick me? I can guess. I can throw a guess out there. I, I want to hear Josh's guess first before okay. we pick that. Well, I don't think that anything was one on a chatterbait. That's where I want to go with it, but maybe that uh, uh maybe that Vision One Ten color, that Hank. What's that one? That was hard to find. That, that is, you're right, but that's that not the answer. answer. No, it's not the answer. But it's a that's a that's an honorable mention for sure. Yeah, when, well, yeah. when Skeet won. On the Red River, nope, you couldn't get that spinner bait. Yeah, the what was yeah, that, but that was such a that was a very limited, right? And most of those were custom made anyway, and not really lucky. It was a lucky Pat. Lucky Pat, what's the answer? What's the, the answer? answer? Is uh, Kevin Van Dam's classic in the Strike King 1.5 in the uh, Kalucha Hucha uh, shark? Got to watch shed. Yeah, can watch a watchy shed. Yeah, 2011. That's the answer. Louisiana I Lake Katawachi. 1.5. You could not get that bait anywhere. Did you do it on that tournament it, almost? It, Wasn't it kind of like a brand new bait for them? It was. It wasn't. It was coming out that week. Like that's yes. how gold, that's how liquid gold he was, it was. during that time frame too. Because everybody it, else was on the money. would frame. win it with like a brand new bait. So, and the red eye shad. He did it with the red Same eye shad. Deal. Too, so. Yeah. Because they yeah, were on the, the year I before the red eye shad went nuts too. Yeah, you're right. But I feel yeah. like they were ready with the red yeah, I think it was already it. out. The red yeah, so I feel like you sold a lot. Of, <laughs> I feel like you sold a lot of robes too. There, I think a robe is pretty hot. In that What's that bacon rind? I know I was buying some of them after the day. Before. Oh yeah, the bacon rinds went by the the hundred thousand power bait out bar jig after JL's one dog and then cut baits. Oh yeah, and then that goofy crank bait too. It was like a true out bar. The bar was on the outside. Yeah. Like a rebar hook or something. Yeah. Really? I remember that now too. I forget about Jay Yeller. That seems snatch. Yeah. yeah, that was a good turn. That was a good turn. He caught bags, big bags. Who who had the who had the best reaction to winning a classic? Like best stage reaction. Oh, that's why we all watch the classic, right? To see that see that winning moment. Who had the best one? Van Dam's at Pittsburgh was pretty good. Yeah. Yep. They're all pretty good. It's because they replay that hard. one every time they. I don't know. Keith Poche, or not Keith Poche, uh, uh, who, who won over here? He was pretty chill with it the whole, the whole deal. Cliff? Cliff Pace. Cliff Pace, yeah. Yeah. Cliff Pace was Cliff super Pace. pumped. He was... <laughs> I mean, he I mean, went. I they had to pull, they had to pull him back on the stage because he was out in the crowd. Yeah. yeah. I feel like he, he had tears rolling down his eyes. He did. He did. He was, he was excited inside. That's People show things differently. Yeah. What about uh, what about Hank Parker, nineteen eighty nine? Well, I'm a big Hank fan, oh. so I'm down with that. I, that I, was the most my memory, though. I don't, is that when okay, so that's the fire. that's the Jim Bitter classic. Oh, and and Hank thought he had blown it, and then when Jim weighed in, he was in the crowd, and they just had the camera on him in the crowd, and he literally like had a seizure when they announced Jim Bitter's weight. It's the best. Like it's it's the only time I've really seen someone completely shocked that they won. Oh, he, yeah, he had no idea. 
Who called their wife? What are you talking about? Well, I think when Hank Parker won one time, they always have a video of it when I used to watch Bassmaster like yeah. way back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's and right. Up. Yeah, and he, he calls his wife. I just I won the Bassmaster Bass yeah. Bass Classic. I remember that. Yeah. That's a huh. great clip. Yeah. Ryan, yeah. the one you're talking about, he grabs his hat, right? Yeah, he grabs his hat and he's just I like he's talking. just he's just like convulsing. It's insane. It's awesome. Uh no. and he's and he's in the crowd. Like that's it's the only time I've seen that. Like everybody's always on stage when they find out they won, and Hank's just like in the crowd and they had a camera on him. It was awesome. Uh and then there's you know, there's Clun with the pre with the uh, future presidents on stage, too. That's a good one. Let's go. Um Talk a hero. Okay. That, was that, that was a good Talk struggling was amazing with the trophy. <laughs> no, I mean, it really was awesome. And then he did it and it was great. And he knew it. Right. Right. Uh, who, who would you like to see you win a classic that hasn't won one yet? This fucking guy right here. I think all of us really would like a classic spot. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I, you know. That's a hard one. Yeah. I mean, but I'm going on it. Let's, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I present co ever. present company excluded. Oh, present company. Like uh, we all want to see Seth win one. Everybody, the world wants to see Seth win one. Such a special tournament. So hard to feel like. Uh, I'm rooting for Christy in this one, but he's already won one. I was gonna say when we were talking about Christy's just he can't overcame you know tough derby to overcome and then come back and then win it and stuff, win a classic again after being right there. All that he was a good champ. Can we, we just fight. can we just change the question to who do you yeah. think's gonna win? Yeah, who do you think's gonna win? Ooh. Edwin Evers. That's a good pick. Man. Thanks. Like Thanks, guys. Evers. What I almost you what, almost got me there. What bucket is he in? Bucket number <laughs> six. Oh, okay. From the Bozo Circus. He's in the pecan bucket. <laughs> Who's gonna win the tournament? I don't know. My brother Matt Robertson. How's that? All right. Guys, like, what's the anyone talking about? Like, any reports on water temp or anything out there? Like, what is it? I don't know anything about yeah, that I'm, stuff. If, if I'm gonna find out. Podcast. Any of that. Yeah. I just want to know if they're pulling up, or it feels like they should be. But at the same time, if they're offshore, it could be a deal. I don't know. The world is saying Jason Christie. Well, yeah. world. Yeah. Well, Jason's. Got, I mean, you know, he's hungry. Hey. Uh, I think Kyle Patch is going to have a good tournament. The small child could easily be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Kyle, the top, <laughs> yeah. two top tens coming into this. I mean, Frank JP's trying to get lot. fantasy picks here. The youngest one in the classic, Father Gill. Father Gill. Is I'll, yeah, I'll take can, Easton Father Gill for the win. I okay. think that's a good, that's actually that's a, that's probably a, a pretty trendy, good, pick. A good yeah. trendy pick right now. I mean, that'd be good. Yeah. What, what, what is. What is here since scoping's really been a, a deal. Has there can think of any past tournaments where no, no, mm -mm, no. so it's kind of there's a, there's a big giant huge question elephant in the room on the lake. It looks pretty clear from here. I don't know. What yeah. is the best classic venue so far that they've been to? Yeah. Knoxville. 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 Awesome. Knoxville. We're talking like waterway or like uh mean party the lake is not the best. I mean overall convenience Logistics, no, fishing. Knoxville's everything. awesome. It's close to the house. Knoxville. A lot of people used to, I mean, when, I remember the first two times they went to Grand, people were freaking out over Grand, over that that classic. But isn't it, what is it, an hour or hour and a half from the ramp to the, the arena? Yeah, it's pretty an hour and a half. Yeah. That makes it rough. So, it, I mean, probably yeah. just on the anglers, though. Nobody else. Yeah, no, that's it. Anglers and staff. We asked them if they wanted to have the way in here at the lake house, and they said no. We we're going to have everybody That's here. Nice. Yeah. 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 I, I offered. Appreciate All right, enough with, enough with fishing questions. I'm looking at three guys with mustaches. I got a mustache. What's the, uh, what's the food to avoid eating when you have a mustache? <laughs> I got a mustache. Uh, no, you don't. Ice cream, draft <laughs> beer in a glass. Guinness. What? what? Uh, hot dogs. God, you're not living. Hot dogs and mustard, right? It doesn't mean he's not eating none of this. Oh, I'm doing it. Man. It's, it's it's name the three greatest things in life. In your mustache when you do it. Like, 
Uh, those are the three that get me the most, I would say. But you guys. Did a really good job. Good he, he's job. been rocking that mustache. Yeah, he knows. He lets her get yeah. good and mushy too, so he knows. You should but bagel. Craving food is when I start shaving. Yeah. The bagel with cream cheese is always brutal too. Stay away from that one. <laughs> Any peanut butter product might be. Peanut butter is okay. Yeah. It doesn't seem to stick as bad. It's not when it's twenty below. Yeah. It's not just free. Blood your blood or nose. Is, you remember getting an extra wipe from there. Oh yeah, you get a head but cold. It's, yeah. it's like, yeah. You get a deep in there. That's actually what Ryan said to me the other day. <laughs> he was like, "I can't blow my nose anymore because because of my beard." Yeah, it's brutal. It's brutal. You need like a yeah, you need a comb on hand at all times. Uh, Pat, what was your? Uh, you said you had a game show set up. You got something? Well, I don't know if we call it a game show, uh, but uh, I got a couple <laughs> things I want to I want to talk about. Let's get it. Well, here's here's a little deal. I think maybe let's play a thinking game first. How's that? You want to do a thinking game? Thinking game. What's that? You strap yourself. In. Oh, thank you. No, this one's for conversation. Oh, good. The yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's play. It's hard out here for a pimp. It's hard out here for a pimp. Let's play. Bassmaster Champions Alphabet Game. Okay. Want to try that? So basically, you got to go A to Z, but I don't think we'll get that far. It's real rapid fire. I like and this. So a champion with A, a champion with B. These are last names. I think we could get pretty far with that. First letter of the last name. I guess you could go first names, but well, I mean... I'm drawing blank on the first one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know that, but I I mean you want to go first names? You want to play like I mean, that? I think we should be able to do it. Okay, well, and he's an elite first series, first series first. angler. I ain't arguing with that. We're going first names or last first names. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fast champions. Not yeah, necessarily going longer. Right. Okay. 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 But, okay, but how are we doing this? And double up when somebody if you say like well, Whatever. If you, if you use their first name one time, and we can really use Hey, like and share this feed. You can this thing yeah. You're making make up the rules. You're, as make, you're just making you know. rules as you go along, like that other league. We're yeah. going to play. Everybody, everybody gets a turn, go around the horn, and first one to five wins. How's that? What? So, we'll just, just go, go hey, around go through the alphabet. I'm going to go Elton Super Blessed Jones. For your A? Yeah. And now, do we stay on A? I invented yeah. the game. These, these are yeah. okay. Yeah. Did you go to B? Uh, Tommy Biffle. Oh. You're on Steve. Jason Christie. Yeah. He's nuts. D. D. Oh, yeah. And first name or last name? Oh my god! And it has to be like a winner. Yeah, yeah. a winner. So who's the frog guy? You answer. No, 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 the frog got... guy. The pro. Come on, your team. Hey, hey, what the hell is that guy's name? They already working. talked about two guys with the D. No, nah, this guy like set records of catching the biggest fight. What the heck? Come on, Toby. Come on. Come on. Ray Scott? No, no, no. I mean, I not I can't think of his What's his name. face look like? Describe his face. What's sounds he look What sounds does he make when he catches a fish? He's real short. He's like, the yeah, there you go. Get back the garbage. All right, time's <laughs> running out on this one, man. There's a lot of D, there's a lot of D names. A lot of them. A lot of D's. It's oh, not Mark God. Davis. Go. Mark Davis. No, I said that. Oh. No, I D, said it. D might be D's the easiest letter. Yeah, I'm gonna go Edwin Evers. That's double up. You got two points. Yeah, that's, that's two up. points. Yeah. <laughs> Any winner. Ooh. Any winner of a Bassmaster Classic. I'm stuck oh, on that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, top one. Fair class. Oh, Sorry. He doesn't have a Classic. No, we're, we're not, not doing Classics. These are just win. winners. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Because otherwise, we wouldn't have, we would have been all wrong answers like anyway. G. Josh. I'm up. Yeah, what G. Up? G. G? Yeah. George Cocker. Okay. Nice okay. Man. H. 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 Hmm. Easy. Easy. That's easy again. You guys are just bastards. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, you go 1979, 1989, you go 1999. I wasn't watching fishing then. We talked about it. We've already talked about it. He throws a spinner bait. It's Hank a Parker. Parker. There you go. Yeah, or Davy Height. Hi. 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 I can help. Uh, oh, I'm on. Yay. I'm on gay. Um. Oh, Jones. I think can use it again. You can sure. Or well, there was a guy last year. Yeah, that's a good answer. But I went Jones. Or Jay Lee. Jay Lee. Yeah. Thanks. There was that guy that won last year too. Okay. Uh, Kevin Van Dam. Okay. <laughs> Hell. Mm, oh, oh, oh. It's the easiest one. Damn. It's the easiest one. Toter, why does it take so long for you? I don't two know. Time, two time classic winner. Two time classic winner. Luke Clotson. Okay, there you go. That's uh, wrong, but yeah. Man. So turn. M. M. Oh. Double M's. M. Uh, <laughs> well, I got, wow, I got, is that a bonus? I got double E's too. Right? Yeah, you did. Uh, um, and uh, uh, who's keeping score? The Poland Diamond. Well, that we're just running through. Well, that's a good answer. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> what would be a good uh, it's a general question. That Wait, hold on. Oh, he just gave you a good clue. A oh, hint. gosh, dang, oh, Ryan, you're amazing. Yeah. That would the uh, a good N word would be Nixon. <laughs> All right, N L M N O. Hot to fall. Nice. Oh, oh, that one of mine. P. Patrick Walters. Okay. Good. Oh, there's only one. Well, I don't even know if he won. Q. Uh, did he ever win? I'm on the letter Q. Yeah, exactly. Q. Did he win? Ooh. Yeah, I think he did. Jenny, wanna... Oh, who? Yeah, I got I this. I think it's KJ Queen. No, yeah. not yet. The dark hair guy, Quentin. Come yeah. on. Yeah, did hardware ever win? Oh, Jason yeah. Quinn. Uh, yeah. Did he win? Yeah, he yeah did. he did. I'm Wild. looking. I'm looking. He's yeah, from he Wiley. Wiley. He did yeah. win Wiley on a plug. No, he might have got you. He was the hometown. That might have been. Oh, hometown. I don't think he ever won it. His right. only his only win was in a uh, Bassmaster Regional. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, is there a Q? Q? There's no Q. But it was 50k. Hold on. What was that guy from Minnesota? Quasimodo. What? Moida? No, the other guy. Hand. The one the first or one the first time ever fit. Oh, Derek Rabbits? Oh, oh really? No. That's not a Q. That's not. A Q. <laughs> I, I'm saying there's no Q. Uh, PQR. Well, Jason Quinn, he's got a Bassmaster win. This is a Bassmaster regional. Yeah, but we're yeah, going. We're we're going. Uh, you yeah, know, blue trophy or yeah, yeah, big big upper echelon. I got you. But for so Q, R, Ricky, you want R, you want to do go Ricky Glove. Okay. Elemental PQRS. Um, R. Wait, oh, you said Rick Klein. Yes. And S? Uh, yeah. Yep. Gosh, I, no. I, I'm going blank. Hmm. I mean, oh, 2000. Okay. You okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it is. <laughs> T. Oh, I don't know if he won, but I want to throw an old name in there. Mark Tucker. Oh, he win? Good, good. I like that. I think he Mark, I think he's Tucker got a win. win? He was either one one or almost one one. Or just caught a giant bass. Yeah, I got a new one if, if he did. Let's see. Peter T. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, that was ish. Peter Silveros. Uh, Taku E2. Oh. Nice. Oh, wow. Taku E2. Taku E2. T. U. Tough one. There's no U. There's got to be. Unders, underwear. Underspin. Underspin. You know, right, Nick, man. I think Pat Defoe's real name starts with you. Mark Tucker won the 2011 uh, Central Open. Oh, uh, I Lake remember that. that was uh, Lou Loserville Lake, correct? Yep, Lake Lou as well. Does your chapter names have a U name starts? With? What do you on you? God, you It's going to get real hard now. PQ, V, Velvic. Did Velvic win or no? 
Velvet Guanine. Yeah, he might on California. Did he, did he win Velvet, on that foundation? He won on clearly with his paper plate and his uh, scent. Yeah, when he went head to head with Aaron, said he yes. was going to fight him. That was Aaron's spot. That was not nice of Byron. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he won. That's not a you. That was a very entertaining Elite Series. You got the youngest. You, Byron Velvet won it clearly. Yeah, yeah he, did. he did. Yes. Plus Kennedy won it clearly. No, he did too. He did but too. he was buttering. Oh. Kennedy was yeah, buttering. He had a post. He won paper plate and a paintbrush and some scent. He was marinating the yeah. swim bait. That, that, that Osprey lure. Yeah. He won in Wisconsin or something like that. You know? Yeah. Johnny Van Dam. QS2 VW. Wu Day. Wu Day. Oh, yeah, that's a good X. X. No. That's a classic. Y. J. Ellis. <laughs> and Z. Zell Rowland. Zell Rowland. Zell Rowland. That's yep. the deal. Well, and that's definitely. the Bassmaster <laughs> Alphabet. That's game. the Bassmaster Alphabet. Holy awesome. cow. Pretty good. I think there's only, what, two, three letters? It didn't happen. And there's so many we didn't think of. Did we say Queen did? Uh, Q did? Yeah, there's yeah. no Q. Q. There's no J.C. Yeah. Quinn Medicine Man. Quidette? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I have Josh, no Josh, give me a Ned Rig tip. I, no, I'm sorry, I, that's a, it's a genuine, it's a genuine question. Are you guys want to fight? I better never catch you talking to me that way, boss. That's a, that's a, gen, that's a sincere question. Wait, why? Go on. Go on yeah, why is that a little far? Go on. Town's back the way you came. Go on. I mean, I'm serious, but you guys made it weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's some disrespectful shit. Right now. <laughs> All right, give me a jig oh, tip, man. sir. Oh goodness gracious! Hey, that's uh, you could use Nedrig uh in Bassmaster uh, clickbait. Sure. <coughs> you got a YouTube channel. Sure. <coughs> yeah, yeah. So you have to know about clickbait. No, not really. Well, you got to be savvy. Choder savvy on clickbait. I'm not. Like Choder, I mean, he knows. Whenever Choder's making a post, he's like. Click bait and like the best bait all time. Yeah, like putting no, the these. Fast yeah. click bait thing is just like Milliken. Anything you post, put Milliken. <laughs> Hashtag Milliken. Hashtag Milliken. That it automatically gets yeah, like five, five, yeah. five for 50. Or that kind of stuff. Hey, let's come up with the stupidest uh, click bait uh, that we can and then end the show. What do you think? Ned Rig. <laughs> yeah, he already came up with it. He won. <laughs> Come All right. On, like, think of a good clickbait title for Bassmaster. Okay. Uh, Crazy Karen kicks me out of backyard with oh. a pond with giant bass. I click. I mean, that's yeah. that's I the one that works. Bullshit. Crazy Karen. That really was yours. Yeah. Karen oh, calls like police. Uh, Crazy. Crazy fight. Karen calls police on me. I, hey, I got a really good one. Randy and Milliken co-hosting the Bassmaster Classic. Making out. Oh, oh yeah, no, Randy Blockett and Ben Milliken co-hosting. No, together. they go to the Dinner of Champions together tonight as so a that's couple. A good one. couple. As a couple. As a couple. Yes, yeah, that's probably that good. would can't be. Stop that. That's that's, that's, that's clickbait. You got any clickbait? No. My clickbait's bait. gonna win. Can right, can ready? any Photoshop make that happen? Photoshop. <laughs> oh, Photoshop the date night. Yeah, that could happen. Hey, we're right by Joplin right now. Yeah. So here's the uh, here's the clickbait that gets the clicks. Are you ready? Boyd Duckett uses Legends exemption and returns to Bassmaster Elite Series in 2025. Could happen. That's a nightmare. That's not a clickbait. <laughs> I'd be checking, clickbait. I'd be checking the dates. Clickbait. You're running from that post. That's pretty. Yeah. That's that's clicky. I'm clicking on it. I'd click on it. Clicking on it. I don't know. <laughs> You're not clicking on it? I'm so. clicking it, yeah. You'd be scared. I got to know. <laughs> You'd be yeah, looking for play. Jason Quinn. Yeah. Handle the whole thing. No, I'd be bad. Hey, Ryan. Yep. Ask Fighter what he's doing tomorrow. Hey, Seth, what are you doing tomorrow? Fishing a derby. Really? 
more derby than most. Yeah. You're Durban. Where are you Durban at? It's actually a really cool it thing. Uh, I'm fishing on Lake Skiatuk. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm fishing a four hour celebrity pro am. Tell us more. Oh, awesome. You the pro or the am? Well, celebrity. I'm the non celebrity. The celebrity. So, wait, here's the key. I you can't so. make it. Why are you not telling the story? You can't make a cast till the am catches till your guest or, or your partner, team partner catches yeah, one, right? Four hours on a lake that they're not allowing us to practice on for reasons unknown. And uh, yeah, I don't get to start fishing till my celebrity catches a keeper. So in theory, you could go all four hours. <laughs> in theory, in theory I can never make a cast tomorrow. You probably bring a lot of coffee. Wow. Um, do you oh, know who you're? Yeah. I think we'll catch him, but I think you come so your first, so your your first, uh, uh, you have the guide first. No, my partner's uh, Sydney Wells from the bar oh. school. She's yeah. a big deal, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think she's gonna Hunter. catch her quick. Beyond. Yes, Once she fish, she's a real deal kind of deal. Yes, oh, you're good. Yeah, that's but, awesome. so she fighter can't fish till she, yeah, but I don't even know where to go. You know what I mean? It's not like I can be like, oh, I. Take them to somewhere there was fish. I mean, from what I know, you just turn on uh, live scope and then they just jump oh, in. Oh, so like, turn it on. It's hard enough for me to catch them on scope. I think it'd be really hard for me to translate that to someone. Hey, maybe she's like, really she's scope. Maybe she's just a scope. She's just like, drops it right on their head. Yeah. Yeah. She might know. She yeah, might already be on these things. She's, yeah. she, she can fish. She fishes a little bit. Might, Is it really live? Or were you just saying oh, that? I believe so. So you can it's actually live on what? Where do we see it? I think it'll be live on. I don't know if it's Fox Sports or just Bassmaster website, but we're gonna be uh, we'll have, we'll have cameras with. That's awesome. That's really cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna check that out. What are, What are the rest of you guys up to tomorrow? I don't know. They didn't. When I was on the elites and didn't make classics, they didn't do cool stuff like that. Go to oh. have little derbies. Ricky really? Clun and Randy Moss are fishing together. Is that right? Is that the pair? Yeah. That's awesome. It's a wild pair. It oh, really man. is. That's awesome. You're kind I wonder of if Clun's going to do yoga. Be a party in that boat. Yeah, Randy can do yoga it. during the day. Oh, I want to stay yeah. limber. Him, yeah, I'm sure Randy knows some yoga. I'm a believer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Being yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even though Randy, I think most of his career never even stretched. That's kind of his deal. He just kind well, of free. Well, oh, dude, Randy, too. Well, you are that was Matthew Johnson. That's like a god team. Who are there? Are there any other professional athletes like uh, you know? Baseball uh, Brian Robinson, Bate Randy Winkleman. Moss. Oh, uh, they are some baseball player from who's, maybe who's the Astros or something. Yeah, something. Don't quote me on is that. is Andrew Vaughn there? From the White Sox. Vince Vaughn. No, I don't believe so. A couple yeah. of musicians like Cole Wetzel, and then. One or two guys from Whiskey Myers. Oh yeah, the the uh, yeah, Cody Cannon. Cody Cannon's there for yeah. sure. I saw that on the list. What's at uh, stake in this in this derby? Hood fishing entertainment will be there as well. And then like a couple of YouTubers. Yeah. You want them? You it's a them boat. Here. It's a boat. They're fishing for a boat. I don't know if that's true. I feel like I heard that. But oh, no, maybe not. I haven't heard anything else about Ross that. Chastain. Fishing in a boat, Pat. Dave Mustaine. Yeah. He's Travis cool from there. Travis, Travis Pastrana's fishing. Yeah. Oh, really? And yeah. Co Wetzel. The motocross guy? Let him drive. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Well, you guys look hungry. Well, we're going to have tacos. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm excited for the Bassmaster Class. Media Day tomorrow. starts tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, well, we got our A game. Brad and I will be running around there at the Media Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big ones. Big, big, Brad's doing big time interviews for yeah. into the Great White Opens. Yeah. Uh, I'll be doing some stuff for the uh, Bass and Masters. So uh, tomorrow's Media Day. Tomorrow's Media Day. The Big uh, Club Championship uh, starts on uh, Friday. And uh, runs through Sunday uh, with uh, all coverage on Bassmaster.com and, of course, Fox Sports. Awesome. Someone's getting a trophy. And Brad's phone. Someone's getting a trophy. Yeah. We don't is, there anybody with a, is there anybody with a Q in their name so they can fix this game? 
I was just looking. Up. <laughs> <laughs> that, that I was like, I'm the best man. I throw a Q in there, but I get all kinds of stuff going. Wait, <laughs> I feel like you won't get to Q. Are we going to let them go before we do the giveaways? Are we yeah. If we didn't have fighters, yeah, we the whole damn thing yeah, together. Yeah, we were lost. Folks. We'd have been out ages ago. Ages ago. Hey, you let's guys, give away you guys, this, um, this Yeah, you want to hang for the giveaways? Well, we got all us Sims guys together. Yeah. Yep. yep. You want to do that? Who's got the names? I don't know. Ask the producer. Yeah. I don't have a phone. I'm... Where's the guy producing the heck out of this thing? He's going to send him to you. He's there. He's Andy, you, you want to send him to Pat or uh, have those guys do it? These are my glasses, not Dougie's. I'm waiting for the randomizer. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. All yeah, right. We have a here a I know how to do it now. How does, how does that work? He put on Josh Douglas's glasses and his eyes just crossed. Yeah, just just cross cross I looked at like that guy in Happy Madison. It took five Happy minutes Madison. for him to go back. They're kind of still a little messed up. This you're like the uh, you're like the girl from vacation <laughs> or Christmas vacation. Well now I can see around the corner and flip there. Yeah. All's in a well, eyes go cross, gets kicked by a mule, they go back. I That's like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we giving away stems, challenger hoodie. He's going to... Look at Dougie looks really good in his Sims hoodie, too. And Fighter's got the uh, hoodie sun shirt on. Those cotton. are the play, the good one. The cotton yeah. hoodie sun shirt. Right here. Uh, That's the real deal. I'm wearing the bug stopper pants. Uh, Dougie has the... Uh, what? Those are the uh, uh, dock wear. Dock the dock wears. And Fighter has the uh, new edition Sims um, only fighter pants. JP's no, got right? the fall That's run jacket. Oh, Okay. Yeah, he looks. Dougie, good. you get to announce the winner. You ready? That the what? what this is the Sims. Uh, that one. Yep. Yeah. Lee King. Lee King, you won. Oh well, yeah. Direct message on uh, Rock and Show Fantasy. Your uh, your your <laughs> info, and he's gonna get you a uh, a, a Sims hoodie, challenger hoodie. Guys, uh, Lee King. Hey, Lee um. King. Oh. Let's just do the tin. Hey, fighter, you do the honors on the on the tin cup. How's that? This guy right here, Eric Barone. Eric Barone, you want a tin Eric cop? Barone. Tin cup. Tin cop. You want a tin cop? It's like a tin, tin man, cop. but a cop. Robocop. Robocop. Yeah, that box guy wins. Look, we gotta cut him off. Bottle of booze to your door. We, we don't say that. We, oh, I we, it's okay. a fun. It's a fun box. It's a fun. It's a fun. See, it's, it's a fun. fun it's a, you don't even know what's in it until it gets to you. You're getting some whiskey. Yeah. This deal? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that deal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, awesome. Uh, Congrats, Ryan. Uh, JP, yeah. guys did amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Good job. You guys did amazing. Look at you. Happy hey, uh, tonight. Does Seth remember the name of my cat? The name of your cat? Yeah. Do you remember uh, it? Um, is it Dorothy? <laughs> <laughs> it's not Ed. He said it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah. There you got it, JP. Thanks, Seth buddy. Love you. <laughs> Dame Regato, Mr. Decato. Well, Awesome. Thanks for coming on, guys. Seth, go win that derby tomorrow. Put that girl on a fish so you can start fishing. Yeah. And uh, Pat, have fun on media day. Josh, that was a sincere question. I throw in Ed Rig a lot, and I, I've seen that you do. Well, and, and we share. Yeah, we share yeah, no, seriously, come on. Let's close this. We show. share a bait. We, we both like it. a specific on, bait that we throw on a Ned Rig. So I was trying to. Connect. Even tell them what you want to lose and what pound. Uh, I lose I lose yeah. them a lot on a Ned Rig. Tell me how not to lose them on a Ned Rig. Get, uh, get a rod and reel sponsor. First of too. all, first of all, I think it's the head mostly. Oh, okay. Uh, and, and My head you, or the jig head? I'm going to give it to you for real. Why? And this came back. Fighter and I worked a long time. I sat there in, in tubs looking at why Ned Rigs won't. They like lay flat and the last tech wants to come up every time. That's kind of its thing, right? Is yep. it'll fall and then it'll come up or everything else goes like this and falls down. So just having a rounded head and a better hook, it's all about that hook. And then I, I use a kind of a, I'm not going to say it's a meat stick for a spinning rod, but it, it's got a lot of backbone. I use like a 7.3 medium, but it's almost like a medium heavy. It's got a fast tip on it, a lot of backbone. And, um, but that's, you know, I'm, 
using it. I'm not throwing it like your traditional Ned rig down the bank of like the Ozark lakes and stuff like that. But for big, big smallies where, where I'm from and stuff like that. On I, the boulders. I, yeah. Yeah. And stuff like that. I like to, it's, 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 it's basically like a tube and I love tubes, except you have more control over the bait than with the two, a tube's a fumble football, but there's times that they'll eat that tube and not the Ned rig too, just because it's yeah. kind of goes where it wants. But, that's my idea. I beef. I, I and I kind of I, I hit them pretty hard, and I treat it more like a jig on a spinning rod, more so than I even do a, you know, a, a, I don't I don't throw a Ned rig around aimlessly too often. I'm usually throwing it either at at a fish or at uh, the cover or structure that the fish are folding on. Okay, so he so heavy hook, heavy hook. Yeah, a lot of guys with Ned rigs like to use a really soft rod, and that's just I yeah. don't I don't I don't do. That's kind of the way like. You know, kind of started or whatever, really super light ones. And hell, I want heavy. Lord of the Ned uses a crappie rod. Yeah. Who does? That's JP High. He calls himself. <laughs> He's calling himself. Oh, yeah. He also talks about himself in third person. Yeah, I like I that. Oh, that's yeah. a very. That's that's a, a, <laughs> JP also, Fish is a good Ned hit. It does I also matter. throw it randomly, aimlessly uh, out of the back of boats. He's the most. I'm He's an excellent co angler. He's a great co angler with the gosh dang. Ned rig, yeah. he throws it out like on a 30 second ounce, yeah. just on like two pound line, just bombs it out the back of the boat. Right yep. over there. He always, and, and, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, he, he just flips it out there like 10, 15 feet from the boat, and then every once in a while, his drag screaming, and he's got a big one. And or you just break it off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So if that's your game, I'm going to tell anybody that likes to do that, drag baits in the back of the boat, definitely outcast tackle, perfect Ned's head, buy a bunch of them, and when you get hung, just break it off. Keep going. Tie another. Find another. Buy yeah. another buy tie another. them up. Throw them back out there. Nobody likes to go backwards for the co angler. That's true. I never. Do. I, no. <laughs> I'll sit there and act like I can hear their drag for a quarter mile down there. Like, oh, you were hung up. That's a classic move. That's or why you gotta wear headphones. I'm just wear headphones all the time. It works. Hey, you know what? We're, what what are and I? What are we doing after the Bassmaster Classic? We're going fishing. Where are we going? I don't know. We might stay here. Talk to you later. No, I can't fish in the lake. It's a little tough. It's pretty yeah. dirt. Oh, what's there? We're, we're uh, rotational. Oh, I know. We're going back. And then can we say where we're going after that? Or is this like a secret thing? I don't think anyone wants to go where we're going. Well, that. are we allowed to say what we're doing? Yeah, you can. Okay, yeah. I didn't I know. Think, if it, I think it's public knowledge. Is it public? The, after, well, not where is we're it, going. Like, is it or no? Don't give like the. I don't know what it is. Oh. You're going to Elsa. Well, we're going to crazy as Sorry. Yeah. Sounds like a great time. It's going to be fun. It should be a good time. Wait, I'm mean, sorry. I missed it. Where are you going? Right, that he was on that one. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Sounds cool. Got it. Uh, yes. Anyway, Chodor and I are going fishing after awesome. the Bassmaster Classic. Uh, then to the Thunderbolt Ball. Then to the Thunderbolt and Lightfoot I Ball. I thought we were going for an Easter egg hunt. We're going for an Easter uh, egg hunt. Uh, Dougie's uh, uh, sharpening his Ned rig. Ned rig ain't spawning yet. And uh, and fighters uh, getting ready for the Florida swing. Yeah, yeah. Blowing down yeah. some turkeys. That's what I'm saying. You're going to hunt turkeys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's turkey season. You're going to kill things. Jim, do you, you want some gobblers? Jinji? <laughs> Yeah, we're getting ready. Jinj, uh, fighter wants to go uh, kill turkeys with are, you. Are you on the hours? Come on down. Yeah, we're ready. Are you? You got some ground? Yeah, we got a few acres. <laughs> Ginger, you shoot turkeys? Wow. A lot you don't know about this guy, JP. <laughs> he shoots turkeys. All right. I love that. I'll let you guys go get At some tacos. Store. That's the fun part. He just goes right into the frozen food section and just starts blasting turkeys. <laughs> just butterballs. <laughs> butterballs. Flatter and butterballs all it's over. It's freaking wild. Poultry section. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, guys. Hey, uh, we're out of here. Yes. Hey, thanks for having us. Thank you, guys. Joder, good job on the open show also. I've been watching. Thank you. Good stuff. And, uh, yeah, you guys have fun down there. I wish I was down there. but uh, We wish you were, too. It's not too late to whip it. Drink like six or seven for me uh, tomorrow night. I will. He did. I will. Okay. He did. Good, good. Good, good. Good seeing you guys. Yeah. You nice congratulations to the winners. Yep. Yes. Congratulations to the winners. And uh, 
I'd like to thank my third grade teacher for this show. Um, yeah. I'd also like to thank my grandpa's friend that lived down the street. Um, I'd like to thank. Uh, Do I think any sponsors at all? Uh, my basketball, the kids on my basketball team in the third grade. I'd like to thank <laughs> all them too. They're pretty cool. So you I don't want to think Omnia, Sims, uh, White yeah, River. Omnia, Omnia, Sims, 10 Cup Whiskey. Uh, Power Pole, Impulse, Lithium. Yeah. All Berkeley. Tightrope Fishing. Uh, Tightrope Fishing. There you go, JP. Yeah. Abu Garcia. Yeah, Abu Garcia. Waterland Sunglasses. But uh, you know who I want to thank the most of all? Who's that? The Bass Galax. Yeah. The Bass Galax. They're the best. Yeah, for making uh, making this whole deal possible. And into the great white. Yeah, they're awesome. The heart and soul of rock and roll. You know what I mean? Uh, Thanks, uh, Bass Galaxy. That's hard to say, by the way. Quinn Bass Galaxy. Is a great oh, did you say yeah. it? That is a good one. That is a good one. We're back on the alphabet. I'm over here just trying all to right, get this all night, you know. He was, we, lead, I think he was leading the lake for day two. I need a you, guys, you guys have fun on the couch. Step. When are we back next, Pat? Uh, we are off next week uh, because we're going to do stuff. And then we are back with the Bassmaster Classic champion the uh, first week in April, I believe. All right. And then right back to Florida. Right back to Florida. Yeah, All right. And then, Ryan, you're doing another, we're doing a live show from Florida and get ready. Pat, All right. Pat Schlapper, that's my pick. Pat Schlapper is JP's Oh, the Bassmaster Classic? Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? What's the problem? He's going to be on the show. Uh, well, maybe. Shady. Maybe. We'll yeah, see. Well, was, well, he doesn't mean? like me. Really? Well, yeah. what you I don't know. Something about What'd you it. say? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> we'll see you. Two weeks. All right. That was a Midwest <laughs> goodbye. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be back in a uh, couple weeks. Yeah. Thank you, JP. Yeah, I'm for sitting in. Whenever. Thanks to all the sponsors. We already mentioned them, but uh, couldn't do the show without them. Thank you, Andy. And uh, thanks, Brandon, for sitting back in the corner and hanging out with us. All right. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Oh, Peace. Yeah.